A murder inquiry is underway after an 83-year-old man was killed in what police have described as a brutal knife attack. The man, whose name has not been released, was walking his dogs in woods near the Norfolk village of East Harling. Sky's Katerina Vitozzi reports. This was a brutal murder with, for now, no suspect and no clear motive. Police have not formally identified the victim, but we know he was 83 and was walking his two dogs here on Saturday morning when he was repeatedly stabbed in the face and neck. I would like to encourage people within a five mile radius of the street, which is off the A1066 and the B1111, near the five ways junction near to East Arling, to check their bins and gardens for any items which may have been discarded by the suspect. This could include clothing, which may be bloodstained, or a knife, or other similar item which shouldn't be there. The victim's dogs were found alive near where he was killed. A passerby discovered him. Andrew Cowper owns a pig farm that runs alongside the crime scene. You wouldn't expect it anywhere, um, but here we are in rural Norfolk, in a, in a place where people come to walk the dogs and ride the bikes and ride the horses. Um, and enjoy a bit of the countryside and the wildlife and, and for this to happen is just, yeah, it's, it's shocking. Police say locals may hold the key to this investigation. This is the nearest town, East Harling. Residents describe it as a quiet, peaceful place. Saturday morning's murder happened just a few miles up this road from this village where many people enjoy woodland walks with their dogs or with their families. That something so brutal and seemingly so random happened so close to this town has left many residents worried and shocked. It's just down the road. No, nothing ever happens like this around here, so it's a bit it's out of the blue for me. It's confusing. Even this morning I was out sort of walking my dog and I was thinking, oh crikey, you know, this is a bit scary because you don't quite know what's around the corner. The police don't think this was a robbery, nor do they have a murder weapon. With so much uncertainty comes a great deal of fear. Katerina Vitozzi, Sky News, Norfolk.